Hello, uh, today I will uh, show you how to use and program this tiny and cheap microcontroller. You can see it is smaller than regular resistor and also very cheap. You can probably find cheaper Chinese microcontrollers but uh, they are very hard to use because it is very hard to find good documentation, information or tutorial. For a uh, size comparison, on my desk I have 80 Mega 328 microcontroller. This is a well known microcontroller used on Arduino Uno. For example, uh, this small one is 80 Tiny 85, another popular chip from Atmel. Next one is also 8. 80 Mega 328 but in smaller package. This chip is used on Arduino Nano and on Arduino Pro Mini. This one is 80 Tiny 85, same like this one but in smaller package. And this is our hero of the day. Pic 10 F200. This thing is really small only three millimeters long it is also very cheap uh, you can find it on internet for around 30 cents it have a uh, four input output pins and uh, built-in four megahertz oscillator you can use external oscillator but we will use this built-in oscillator program memory is not too big but it is enough for simple projects. Operation voltage is great. This device will work from 2 volts up to 5.5 volts. Power consumption is also great. We will program uh, this microcontroller using this PicKit programmer. I bought mine on eBay and it was around $11. Uh, this device is really small, so we will need to use this adapter PCB board to use PIC 10F200 on a breadboard. Adapter boards are very cheap, I paid $1 for 10 of them on eBay. You can find links for all parts in the in the description of this video. So let's solder place flux on the adapter board. Nice amount. Place a little bit solder on your soldering iron tip. Put the microcontroller on the board and solder it. Let's say that this pin is pin 1, pin 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. We need now connect programmer to our microcontroller. First pin of programmer goes to the pin 4. Next one goes to the pin 5. Sorry, this is a little error. I will mistake. Next one goes to pin 2, it is ground, next one goes to pin 1, next one goes to pin 3. I also created this 
a little resistor and LED and I will put them from pin 3 to pin 2 now we need to download the software that we will use for programming just write mplab in Google open first link we will scroll down to find download section and download software and install it we will uh, open MP lab and create new project uh, choose baseline devices and choose pick 10 F200 we will use pick kit 3 programmer and choose assembler we'll need create new source file assembler file uh, you can name it as you want the description of this video I will put link for, co for code so you can download it and paste it here uh, now only thing we need is to set up our software our device will be powered uh, with uh, pick kit 3 programmer so we need to adjust that so click on the settings click on pick kit 3 find the power options that's it now we are ready to program device C click here choose your programmer if needed and we need to wait now programming uh, is successful so let's test our device.